close your eyes and watch your breath. In other words, try to see where you feel the breathing inside the body. Let your attention settle right there. Train your mind to stay here. This is one of the ways in which we bring a blessing as this era, protection to our lives, by training the mind. Because the mind is the biggest troublemaker in life, so you want to make sure that this big troublemaker is under control. And when it's, it, it's under control, then the rest of your life is going to be a lot easier. There's a whole list of what they call the mangalas, or the blessings or protections. And this is one of them, being well trained in your discipline. And the discipline here is disciplining your mind. We're not going through the rules just to be good little boys or good little girls to get a reward. We're doing it because it trains the mind to be very careful about what you're doing and saying and thinking. And this kind of training is important, something you do all the time, or you should do all the time. As you walk down the street and you notice something, you see that it's giving rise to greed or aversion to illusion. You can ask yourself, okay, why am I looking at this? Or sometimes it's not the case that you just happen to find something. You're out there looking for something that will spark your greed or aversion and delusion. That's the kind of thing you've got to get under control. People are looking for trouble. And this is why we have hate radio. This is why we have all kinds of things in the media. People feel like lust. Okay, they know where to go for to excite their lust. If they feel like anger, they know where to go to excite their anger, and so on down the line. It just just feeds our unskillful qualities. So we have to learn how to realize that, okay, the society out there is not here for the sake of training us in anything skillful. We've got to train ourselves. So we have to turn around and look at the impulses to go out. And one of the ways of getting some control over those impulses is to give the mind a good place to stay right here. There's a sense of ease with the breath coming in, going out. There's a sense of well-being suffusing the whole body. Why would you want to go out and cause trouble? Why would you want to go out and look for trouble? This way it makes it a lot easier for the mind to be a lot more tame. We don't like the word tame. We think being wild and creative and inventive is a good thing. But there are a lot of wild things we can do that people have done before, we've done before, and we keep on doing them because we're not learning. When you finally learn, okay, that kind of behavior doesn't lead to anything, that's when you begin to grow up. So this is how we grow up inside, realizing that society out there doesn't want to train us. Whatever training we got when we were children, okay, that may have helped, but the question is, to what extent are we actually applying it right now? And the meditation gives you a good foundation for getting the upper hand within your mind. So when greed comes up, you don't believe it. When anger comes up, you don't get pulled away into fires by it. You've got to get the mind trained. You've got to get it disciplined. And this is an important part of the practice. This is an important part of being a human being, is having a disciplined mind. So when an impulse comes up, you know whether it's something you should follow or not, and if it's something you shouldn't follow, how you should say no to it in a way that it doesn't just go underground and come back up three weeks later as a monster. Or if it's something that's skillful, okay, how do you encourage it, even though there's sometimes when an impulse comes and part of you says, no, I'm not up to that, but you know it's a good impulse. Okay, where are you going to get the strength? This is what the meditation is for, is to give you the strength, to give you the alertness. So you can say no to the unskillful things in a skillful way. And you can encourage and nourish the skillful parts of the mind. This is what it means to have a mind that's well disciplined, one that does the work when, that, that you want it to, to do. When you tell it to sit, it sits down. When you tell it to walk, it walks. When you tell it to run, it runs. Because if the mind doesn't obey you, it's like having an animal in your house that you haven't trained. It's going to make a mess everywhere. So make sure that your mind is well disciplined. Look at this as a blessing in your life, as something that's protection and something that provides happiness. Because that's where genuine happiness lies.